The Professor and the Rodeo Queen. College students excel at excuses. And before I met the Rattlesnake Queen, I thought I had heard them all. She said she would have to miss my class for two days to make some appearances in South Alabama. When I asked what kind of appearances, she proudly announced that she was crowned the Queen of the Rattlesnake Rodeo in Op, Alabama. She showed me a photograph of herself with a strangely reptilian smile, wearing a tiara and a large sash of snakeskin. Since this was my first herpetological excuse, I went to the library to find information about Op. It turns out that every spring for 50 years, tens of thousands of people converge on this small town where the JCs have captured a hundred or so rattlesnakes. The rattlers are milked, displayed, entered in a race, fried, eaten in sandwiches, or breaded like chicken tenders. Souvenirs of snakeskins, rattles, heads with fangs, hats, belts, wallets, and boots are bought and sold. There is gospel country music, funnel cakes, and snake handling. It is a veritable Super Bowl of snakery, a Six Flags of slithering, a nexus of neurotoxicity. I chuckled as I asked my dean, a Southern gentleman, if making appearances as the Rattlesnake Rodeo Queen was an acceptable excuse for missing my class. He became very serious and made it clear that we should be honored to have this fine young woman in the College of Liberal Arts, and like other serpents, the Snake Queen was not to be trifled with.